interior designer for Miami, Florida. Today I'm headed to Fort Pierce, which is about two hours north of Miami to take part in a project that is super inspiring and I'm humbled to be invited to do. The artist Dave L is helping put together a really cool art component to a Bahamas relief effort. He's assembled a pretty epic team of artists from the whole South Florida area. Some honestly my favorite painters. We're all gonna be painting shipping containers that are gonna be filled with supplies and sent down to the Bahamas after all the devastation from Hurricane Dorian. Super excited to, to be a part of this and help out in my little way. We've got a little bit more driving. now it looks like we're right near the shipping port where the container ships come in which oh, this is gonna be a lot of fun everybody's right next to each other get to hang out learn from everybody and I'm pumped about this having a little bit too much fun at the beginning and forgot to keep the time lapse going after getting that sketch up when I started to actually paint. But subscribe to my channel, there's plenty of other videos that go into more detail on the painting. This one's more about the experience. Good progress, got enough colors that um, the form's taking shape and I don't have to question it anymore. But this has been such an awesome time out here. Unbelievable to get asked to do this like two days ago and show up and it'd be just such an unbelievable project. So many people coming out. I think that news has come in, families. Uh, once the supplies are unloaded, all these containers that we're all painting are staying. People to use as temporary homes and restaurants and like all kinds of stuff. So, but the whole point is to bring a beacon of hope to people that have been completely devastated. Uh, my buddy Lander called me and yeah. he said, uh, Hey, I got one container if you want to paint it, come through. Oh, and I came up and there's like 12 containers. I was like, all right, <laughs> who's ready? Hell yeah. So got a bunch of people to commit and I'm really hyped. Everybody's pieces came out like next level. Everybody really brought it, including Eric. <laughs> um, but uh, it's I, I didn't tell him to say that, so it's all good. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I decided to paint an angelfish for this. Not only are they awesome, colorful, magical little fish, but the only time I've ever seen one was when snorkeling in the Bahamas. And I thought that the, the idea of an angel was really, really perfect for this because what Lander and Dave and everybody are doing is gonna help so many people that truly, truly need it. Uh, Hurricane Dorian did is so devastating right there. It puts things in perspective to think that, that easily could have been us. It's all total luck and chance with these hurricanes and what it can do and where it can wipe out. So it's important to remember that, that even though we don't live there, it very well could be us and they need help. You know, we grew up going out there. Bahamas really like kind of shaped who we are. Taught us about culture and people and how to treat people. We started some relief efforts in Delray Beach. So, what's the best avenue to get them to the people as quick as possible? And on this barge going to Man of War um, through Macaulay Marine. You know, they're, just, they're just a grassroots operator and they're yeah. gonna get it there. We did, and, and when I went up there, I saw, I was like, 
I called Dave immediately on the way home, and I'm like, Dave, like, you gotta, you gotta help. Like, I, I don't know what you're doing, I don't know what your schedule looks like, but you gotta drop it all, you gotta help me, man. Like, this is gonna really change people. You know, I think just ideas, really, just to give people that, you know, a few seconds a day of, like, artistic relief in their life. Like, once, when these containers all go there and they stay there forever, um, you know, it'll just be a cool way for someone who's walking out, either living in the container, we're walking out to the container to get like their day started and get their supplies out. Um, you know, they'll have something to just look at and know that there's people out there who care about them and who want to see them succeed and rebuild and prosper. And amazing day even if it were just a few of us out here panicking for this awesome cause it would have been amazing but Lander the whole team out here everybody just showing up hanging out really was just unbelievable through and through super lucky to get to even like one know about stuff like this but get to contribute in such a meaningful way um, I hope I get to do another one like this soon man this was unreal Almost immediately after we painted them, the shipping containers were filled with supplies, picked up, put on a barge, and sent down to the Bahamas. Yeah.